Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the angle control expression control, which can be used to control the rotation of a layer or object in After Effects. The composition size is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I'm going to show you how to add the angle control expression control to control the rotation of this logo. To add the angle control expression control, first thing I'll do is create a new null object. To do so, I can just right click or control click right in the layers panel and go to new, null object, or go up to the top menu, go to layer, new, null object. You can also right click right in the composition window, new, null object. I'll select the null object, hit enter or return to rename, I'll call this angle control. You might want to call it rotation control as that's what it's going to do, but I'll keep it angle control for this tutorial. Hit enter or return. And with the angle control or the null object layer selected, go up to the top menu, go to effect, expression controls, and select angle control. Now in order to keep this angle control from disappearing when I select another layer, with that null object layer selected, just click on the little lock icon in the effect controls. Then when you select another layer, this will still be visible. Now select the layer that you want to control with the angle control. So in my case, it's this M logo. With that layer selected, I'm gonna tap R to bring up the rotation property. Then press the option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the stopwatch for rotation. This will allow us to write in an expression, only this time we're going to clear out the expression. So I'll just tap the delete key. With nothing in the expression editor, I'm going to go to the expression pick whip. I'll click on that and I'm just going to drag it up to the angle control expression control. Let go. And now we have this expression automatically added. So I have no layers selected in the layers panel but since I locked that angle control, it's still visible in the effect controls. And now when I change the value in the angle control, I am fully controlling the rotation of that logo layer. Pretty cool. And using the angle control, I can control the rotation using keyframes, just like I could using the rotation property down below. So I'll just drag the CTI to the beginning, click on the stopwatch for angle. I'll move the CTI forward in time, let's say to the five second mark. I'm just going to enter a one. So this will rotate a full 360 degrees. I'll drag the CTI back, hit the space bar, and now we have a rotating logo. I'll click the stopwatch to remove all keyframes. You can also add expressions using the angle control. So I'll press option or alt and click on the stopwatch for angle. I'll type in an expression, maybe time asterisk 50. Now that logo is just going to endlessly loop. And if the 360 degree rotation is a little boring for you, a fun one that I like on the rotation property is wiggle. So I'll just click and I'll change it to wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, open and close parentheses. I'll do something like one comma 50, click off. And now I've got this kind of hesitating rotating logo. So that is the angle control expression control in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.